Looks like we got Fat Stack coming back in. We've got the Meatballer and the Instant Aura, but it looks like Rage is switching to pick here for this one rather than Joker. And Pikes that, you know, has that big Nair that just kind of says, like, we're stopping everything. Which seems like it's going to be scary if it gets revenge by Instant Aura, but other than that, you know, it kind of breaks up the situation. Have a bit of zone with Ness, with K Fire, and Thunder if they need to. And we're going to see how this is going to go. And I think this is a good call, at least to start out, just because both Brawler and Incineroar, they're not characters you particularly want to scrap with, and they also don't really have the range to deal with Nightmare. So instead of having to be more up in that space with Joker, now you get to play this better spacing game with Ike and not necessarily interact with these characters as much. Especially Brawler, I think this will go really well into. Yeah, Brawler you really don't want to interact with considering that they can both stock very early. But then also in Cineroar, you can just kind of stay away from it if he has a revenge pack. Oh, oh okay. getting that counter already is D-Money. Oh, Whoa! And getting the unintentional one trying to get the kill off the I don't top think, I think that was intentional. Because like, you know he's in the well, helicopter. Yeah, no, no, no. I meant, I meant the... Uh, I didn't mean that it wasn't intentional. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he tried to get it the hot. awareness. The I think awareness. he tried to go up with it just because, yeah. so, like, that's the the uh, blast zone they were closer to. You know? yeah. But yeah, Fat Sack showing that these two, they have absolutely teamed before. They they know a lot of these like more niche follow ups, and you can see that a lot in doubles. But yeah, a couple of quick socks flying. Okay, just continuing to go off stage and try to harass this Ike. He does have a pretty vulnerable recovery. You don't want to leave him completely on his own off stage if you can interrupt him. Yeah, you're trying to see here that uh, uh, Deep Brawler is trying to use that lingering to steal Ike's uh, one with that. Uh, getting a low one with uh, Didn't work out that time, but we're going to be seeing that probably a few more times just trying to snuff out Ike's recoveries, get some uh, IP and also. Okay. <laughs> we why we, we must saw that eruption, right? <laughs> I don't know why eruption was used there. That was the Ike dash attack. Okay, going deep that forward air. It's had a find in the kill on the meat baller. We've uh, seen Fat Sandwich spending a lot of time off stage going for these edge guards, but getting edge guarded themselves there in that situation. Both Atata and Raven King still on their second stock here. Um, and Raven King looking pretty healthy here, only 72%. I like Raven King using the side B on stage, punishing uh, D Money going after it. Uh, and just left him wide open to get killed by the side B. Uh, ooh. Okay, the armor for actually not letting Raven King hit by the... Uh, oh, but there's another one on that Nair. This is a very scary situation whenever Raven Server has Nair, which didn't happen a lot of these. D-Money just uh, kind yeah. of leaving... Yep. Leading Fat Sandwich to their own devices there as they're stuck in that PK fire. Atata runs over, forward smashes in, and then D-Money dies immediately after. Yeah. So. It kind of became like he got the command grab, and Ike was just able to punish with a free F smash, and that thing hits pretty high. So, yeah, big damage there. Raven King Atata being able to take that first game there. Very, very comfortable game one of them, too, I would say, Gamma. Yeah. There's... It... They consistently were in the lead. It didn't look like they were very flustered at all by what the shenanigans that can happen in doubles with Incineroar with Brawler. Um, they played a around their options well uh, and consistent were finding edge guards, getting stocks. So mm -hmm. they gotta be feeling good going into this game too. Yeah, playing around the options of getting edge guarded themselves just in time. Uh, yeah, they were not getting so... edge guarded that game. It was pretty much just that down air away from D Money. Yeah, and that had been that happened fairly quick into that uh, the first game where it was just kind of at the ledge and it was an unfortunate situation for Atata. But moving on to game two, we're actually reaching a healthy upset. So I'm kind of surprised to see something like this. I'm guessing it's just the open air would rather allow you to land on not like the platforms. Okay, wow, another down air coming out from uh, D-Money on Atata once again. These games are starting out the same way. The cross shop. Okay, Atata is taking damage here from D-Money. Might lose yeah. another stock here. Not oh, no. quite, Air but D Money just no, continuing. No, that's gonna and be he gets the one. other one, but okay, he does yeah. lose the same stock, but that is a, a for his first stock. That's a trade you will absolutely take there. I think a two for one because it's the second time uh, did that. This is big for a Tadic. He's gonna have to play uh, stock, stock camping once again. Maybe things that one fix might be able to hang on to stock for a little bit. I don't think he's gonna be able to shift two. 
that first stock kill is going to help you. They're going to have to find somebody close here. Otherwise, they're going to be in from behind. Okay, there's yeah. one. Yeah, I, uh, we're going to that falling upper there, even knowing off the stock count. But still got a, quite a bit of work left to do in the percentage front. Trying to get things started here. Had a fat sandwich off stage. But everyone's back on stage. Everyone's resetting now. You're seeing Fat Sandwich trying to use that helicopter kick that's just to catch Raven or it's at at this point. Just scoop them up and get the kill on it. I think the shot put actually killed D Money down there and stole his jump. And then the PK Rocket. Okay, we got two stocks to Raven King just having all three. I was kind of surprised that they waited this long. I'm guessing that Atata wanted to wait until Raven King died since they had fresh stocks. Um, but it looks like, yeah. Cat Sandwich trying to do extra damage here, trying to make a fast pace this stock. Still living at one or Raven King's under that first stock so oh, well. And that's that's what the advantage of having your teammate there does, because now Raven King has to play that really defensive optimal eight gameplay where you're just retreating there. Unfortunately he does die to that stray fair from Atata. But Raids where they're in a much better position than they were before now. Um Tato would got a couple revenge edge guards himself there to even this game back up. But still at a hundred percent here. A lot will kill for Incineroar right now. Yeah. Incineroar is definitely the scariest part here. I mean we're seeing all the players kind of get some unhealthier stocks. But, oh no, the dash attack from Raven King actually taking out a Tata and now he's gotta play this at 88% against both of them. Very scary situation. I mean Ike's gonna get punished by one or the other, They're just waiting. It looks like they want to get those grabs to uh, set up for a combo here for Incineroar to deal the final blow. Raven King, I have it. I mean, back now. They're just taking the stage control and just trying to get that shit damage. Yeah. Yeah, gonna need to get find a dash tag, find a back air here and off the side if you want to even this yeah, up. But yeah, that shot it. put should take it and it will. So, mm -hmm. bat stacks, even this up one to one. Yeah. Very good coming out there uh, from the earliest. I think the one thing is that Atana has to watch out for the players coming out. He is flabbergasted. He can't move yeah, they are all. shocked. They have not moved in <laughs> they 40 <have> minutes. Not. <laughs> Bro is frozen. Uh, but I mean, in this set alone, we've seen three early stocks taken by Instant or Dare against Atana, and he only had to pay for one. So they gotta have to. They gotta have to figure out something to deal with that. I don't know if it's, you have to change if the opponent fighting or just. I don't know, keep the child on a leash or something. <laughs> like... Yeah, it's definitely adjustments are going to need to be made. And it, it's... They did have those really early edge guards on Atata. That was another big storyline in that game, too, that we saw. So, Atata just going to need to do a better job of not being put in those compromising positions off stage against Incineroar. Um, because, you know, considering that those early edge guards happened once again and it was still a close game, you just got to clean that up and be more cognizant of your stage positioning. Yeah, that's the one thing. I mean, we're seeing right here D-Money pounding after a Tata right now. Trying to get these golden whips. Use that on a revenge stack. No. Hey, side beat. I, I, don't, I think Raymond came and was like, I'm just not going to put myself in a bad spot in the corner and just eat this hit. Yeah, it's just something scary you have to deal with. Okay. Oh, wow. Tata actually being able to get out of there and kill the money for that. That's right. where, you know, sometimes going for those edge guards and they're too successful for too long makes you start to get greedy. Oh, and you're very seeing that once greedy. again, but the money tech, is making it tech. back there, but Atata dying this time, so. Atata had to use his first bonk on the actual hit towards the me and didn't aim it properly. So Can riding that curvature stop. all the way to the blast zone at the bottom of the stage. Definitely. Okay, there's a big down air coming out from. So, four stocks with. Definitely Google for they're able to hang on to these stocks. The controller being on the last stock is very scary considering that. And that's where that issue of like the edge guards have been going too well. So D Money has been spending a lot of time off stage trying to challenge Atata, not being on stage, and it's causing him to get reversal off stage as well. Yeah. So something to keep in mind since so is over, but Atata finding that down air off the jab. It's such consistent timing from Ike. That's what, that's what makes Ike so good in doubles, is how consistent times are. And we've been seeing, I mean, we've been teaming for a while, so they know when these uh, Especially with Ike. So, 
they just know the timing, and when they see that coming out, they're just ash out on those. Oh, flying in different directions. Everyone in the rush right now shoot four percentages, so a lot of stocks could come flying really quick. That back they're gonna take Raven King second stock. Still has another one to spare, so but Tata does have have two still on deck. Um, Blue team Fat Stacks has to play this very carefully. They definitely do. I mean, this damage they're both at like 120 percent. If they can find their way on stage, it might be doable. The problem is they have to find it on stage. If they're going to be out D money here, and this third one is Tata. Yeah, yeah. Raven King was in a situation where he knew he could just go for the Ether playing the other side of stage, and if he dies, he dies. I can just end that game with ether, ether, ether. Yeah, it just works. It just covers a lot of the stage. Also, um, you know, uh, who is it? Brawler has to just cover in a certain direction. He can't flip kick over it because it has such a high box as well, starting out. So yeah, this is 2-1 lead here for Raven King Atata in this winner's finals. Um, Bastax needs to figure something out here that isn't just getting it. Yeah. That, that's been really what they've been dying by um, in this set to try to keep things close. So now it's a matter of, hey, we're even King and Tata. They figured it out. Got it back. So now we need to figure out what the next plan is here. Yeah, their main thing is that with like those edge guards, like you were saying, but like they just have to have that. I think that's what really have to have. So rather. Maybe it's like with the, their edge guards, rather than going out deep, they just hold and just react to their get up. Uh, if they keep both them off stage. They just pick, they pick Final Omega, Destination uh, Battlefield? Yeah, because apparently uh, Fats uh, um, and Wedge doesn't like looking at normal FD, apparently. You know, I which kind of fair, Which is fair. But, but it also creates this issue now of I just think there's gonna be platform there that aren't. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the hardest part. Yeah, this definitely does look pretty weird, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, getting into this game four here. Oh, not the uh, okay. Not quite gonna take it here. But both oh, okay. members of Fat Stacks are at high percent here. Actually, everyone on stage is, but here goes that alone with that should take it. Attack at the lowest percent, but losing his first stock the earliest. Okay, Raven King able to make it back to stage after the double jump. Using the up to the kill fat sandwich. And now, uh, D Money is not going to make it back either. Cross slashing towards the ledge, but not getting back to after the election. Raven King, the lone survivor of this first stock. Let's see if he gets out of this ledge trap situation. We're waiting on ledge for so long trying to uh, send Fat Sandwich off, but accidentally feeling a Tata's PK Thunder and getting both of them killed for it. I and, mean, and a Tata was the reason that Raven King was in that situation to begin with. He had put out that board air that ended up hitting Raven King, so that was an absolute disaster for Raven King and Tata. But I mean, Raven King was the one in the situation in the first place, so who's fault really? But Let's Atata put him there. Yeah, yeah, but Raven King decided to get hit to be put there. Well, okay, then we can, we can play that game all day at that <laughs> point. <laughs> oh, wow, great DI coming out from Fat Sandwich, barely surviving that ether, but not the up smash. Big hit. Okay, this is looking doable. Red yes. Team, after suffering that double stock loss, somehow is in the lead now. After stealing the money stocks once again, Atata getting revenge from the entire set of losing so many early stocks due to down there. I'd say the MVP in this game for sure has been Raven King's patience. There's been a lot of situations where he's gotten stocks by just waiting for that extra defensive option from Blue Team and ultimately sealing out the win 3-1 to one as Raven King had to advance to Grand Finals. Speaking of a lack of patience, Fat Sandwich going a little bit hard on that down air and dying for it. But yeah, Raven King had a, like you said, 3-1. And probably, yeah, that patience really does justice considering how how the other team wants to just get everything done. They want to end it as soon as possible. Raven King just playing that like back a little bit more, letting his teammate um, lose some early stocks, but if he's able to hang on to them, like it doesn't matter because just survive 